Have you ever wondered how you can make those seamless patterns that repeat perfectly on journals and SVG files and print on demand products, but without using any expensive software? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can create those seamless patterns in Canva. And this is the easiest way ever. So it's step-by-step, step. you don't need Photoshop, you don't need Procreate, and you don't need any complicated tools. You also don't need Canva Pro because we're not gonna be downloading multiple PNG files. So I'll show you how to use a design pattern tile that repeats perfectly without any visible edges, how to use Canva shape tools to align your pattern and export your design in high resolution so you can start creating your digital papers, planners and print on demand products. So I'm going to switch over to my screen and I will show you how it's done. Right, to start with, what you would need to do is come over to canva.com and start a new document. So we're gonna go, uh, I'll put the link down in the description in case you don't already have a Canva account, but it is free to use to, to do this tutorial, just a free account. So we're gonna come across to create and we're gonna create our tile at 3000 by 3000 pixels, make sure this is on pixels and then click on create new design. So I already have one that I've done earlier in this size. Uh, so obviously you can change the name of your um, document here. And to start with, we're gonna grab some elements. Now I'm just gonna use Canva elements for the sake of this tutorial, but you can go across to, you know, if you use your own elements, if you're, if you're an artist or you have some elements that you've created yourself, you can use those. You can actually come across and upload them here in the uploads um, tab or you can go to somewhere like Creative Fabrica, uh, which is really good for um, downloading elements to use. I'm just gonna use Canva elements. So you can obviously type in whatever you want to create. And you can also search, I'm just gonna move me to the other side. So I'm not in the way. You can also, when you've, when you've clicked on what you want to search for, I'm gonna click on graphics. Um, you can actually come to these, this little tab here and scroll down, click on free and it will take out any of the paid Canva Pro elements. So all of these elements are free for you to use. So I'm just gonna use these as an example. So I'm gonna actually click off here because, um, because I'm gonna click on these ones here because they're quite nice. So literally just put whatever elements you want onto your design. So. I'm just gonna use rainbows and I'm just gonna arrange them any way I want on my tab, like so. So obviously space them out, make it look pretty or however you want it to look um, with your elements. Now I'm gonna actually come down to the page below. I'm gonna move me back because I already did this earlier just to save time with our tutorial. So I've just grabbed some free elements from Canva and I've just created a little pattern tile using um, some elements, rainbows and flowers. And this is a tile that I'm going to use as a test just to demonstrate how to do a repeating pattern. So we need to come back to elements um, come off graphics and then we're going to come to shapes and grab a square shape here and I'm literally just going to align the square so it completely fills the tile so you'll know when you've gone to the edge of the page because it'll kind of click into place um, and then with this square this is just a guide so obviously we're not going to keep this square on our design it's just a guide so we know where the edges are to our tile so i'm going to create a stroke um, around the edge and then on the the color i'm going to click on there and take the color completely out because we don't want uh, want to be able to see what we're doing and then we're going to group this together so i'm going to drag and also click hold the shift key and it will 
allow you to click on the outside edge as well. And then we're gonna group all of this together. I'm also gonna copy and paste, so we have two copies. I'm just gonna drag that out the way. And then I'm gonna hold the shift key as I drag it to the middle. Now, when you get to the middle, it'll click with like a red line. So you'll be able to see where the middle is. And I'm gonna do exactly the same with this one. Obviously, did you see when I pulled it up, it had the middle line and it kind of clicked into the position and then just gonna drag that into the middle to meet, meet up with the other one. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is ungroup both of these and delete the rectangle shape because we no longer need that. So what I would recommend is anything that's on the edge here, so all of these ones that are right over the edge, don't adjust any of those ones because this one here, for example, will match perfectly with this one here. So we don't want to mess those ones up, but any of them that are not touching the edge, you can kind of re readjust them so that the space is even. You can add some more little bits if you want to. You can even add text. So you could click on text and so that needs to be made bigger. You can make it bigger one of two ways. You can actually change the size or you can just drag it and make it bigger. So you can add text, find a nice little font, to add text in there, like a nice little cursive font, um, but just rearrange them, add more elements if you want to, uh, just so you, know, you can obviously move these and change them, just so that there's no big block of white space kind of in the middle. Um, and then what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back to the elements and click back on the shape. Now, just to make you aware, this only works with a square tile. If you have a rectangular tile, it will not work in the same way I have tried. Um, so, Again, exactly as we did before, make sure it fills the full tile. I'm just gonna, that's not quite at the bottom, hang on. Just so it fills the full tile and it clicks. There we go. And then again, I'm gonna add a stroke, take out the color, oh, and then we're gonna group this together. And then click on the shift key on your PC and then it will include obviously click on the rectangle as well to group that along with it. Um, so what we're going to do now is copy and paste. That's it. I'm just going to move this one and we're going to do exactly the same but instead of finding the middle um, vertically we're going to find the middle horizontally. So that should be the middle, hang on. Exactly the same way we did before. So we're gonna find the middle. Uh, I'm just going to check actually, because the easiest way to check it is if you get a rectangle and just pull it down, you can see that the middle is in the middle of the center point there. So that's the middle, whoop, just delete that. So that's the middle and we do exactly the same thing here. So I'm going to ungroup both of them and then we're going to again just space them out. You can, um, you know, if this element here you could copy and oh, maybe not that. <laughs> I don't want to mess that up. I was going to add it, add it in like this. Now you could add more bits in there, more elements in there, and just, just move them around, you know, turn bits round, just so it fills the space. Um, and again, you can add text if you want. Now, I've actually done done this, or my version of this, um, earlier on, and this is what it came out with. So I've just, basically, it's the same thing. I've just added um, the extra bit here and I've added some text um, make sure if you don't have Canva Pro that your text is free if it doesn't have the little uh, crown next to the text it means it's free so this is 
Bellaboo looks quite pretty I like it and um, you know in some similar colors to the ones that you have and this is my pattern tile so um, and that should uh, if I um, download this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download and I'm only going to download the page oh, current page page three so I want to download this page and I'm going to download it as um, if you download it as a PNG um, just so you're aware if you want to download it with a transparent background um, so you can have like different colors behind there you will need a Canva Pro account to do that um, if you just want a white background you can just download it um, as a simple PNG file I would make this as big as you can um, just so that when you expand it it's not going to be super low resolution I mean that's expanded that to 9000 pixels so you know even though I think the PNG files on here they're not very high resolution uh, just make the file size bigger and it, it'll stop it being pixelated when you come to print it onto a design so I'm going to download page three it's just taking a while right so that's my pattern test PNG okay and I'm just going to upload it downloads I'm going to do this as a list and when I click on it so this is my PNG pattern tile and if I bring that to the middle and then copy it copy and paste it which is on your computer it would just be control or command C on a Mac and then command or control V um, and again that's how you do it really simply without having to download multiple PNG files so that's my workaround obviously this is um, for those of you who don't have other software um, or don't want to pay for software and that's fine um, obviously if you was to do this on Photoshop you could download that as a high resolution PNG and it would be guaranteed to be you know non pixelated when you blow it up but I found that as long as I create the tile at 3000 pixels and export it as high or as large as I can um, this prints fine on most things that I've tried it on so there you go that's how you do a pattern tile for repeating patterns on Canva uh, for free completely for free I hope you've liked this tutorial if you have please like the video don't forget um, to subscribe so you can keep watching uh, for any other tutorials that I bring out and I will see you in the next video bye bye